morning, everybody, and thank you for joining me today. And uh, go ahead, if you will, grab a Bible, if you're able, if you're not driving down the road. And let's go back to the 145th Psalm, Psalm 145. We'll be starting in verse 11 today and continuing to look at this psalm, again, a psalm of David. Um, and another one of those, I've said this on different occasions, but a psalm that um, is what we expect, I think, uh, out of, uh, of a psalm. This is a song of praise, uh, just lifting up the, the name of God uh, and uh, de declaring his uh, wonderful uh, works uh, that he has done. And so picking up here in verse 11, he says, They shall speak of the glory of thy kingdom, talk of thy power to make known to the sons of men his mighty acts and the glorious majesty of his kingdom. Thy kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and thy dominion endureth throughout all generations. And again, those are the lofty uh, type words and statements uh, that most of us expect when we read uh, the book of Psalms. Again, we don't uh, expect to read about jawbones being broken and those kinds of things. This is what we're uh, expecting to find uh, in the book of Psalms. And David, uh, in these words, uh, wants the people, uh, again, notice he says they, he, he wants the people uh, to, uh, to talk about uh, a particular aspect, and that is the kingdom and the power uh, of God. Uh, they that uh, they wanted uh, his desire was that the Israelites um, would uh, sing and talk about the great things uh, that God uh, had uh, had done. Uh, that they would uh, declare that, teach that to their children, uh, to their descendants, to, 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 their, to their neighbor, to anyone they came in contact with, they shall speak of the glory of his kingdom. Uh, again, they, um, he wanted them to, uh, to have that word on uh, their tongue, to make known, he says, to, to the sons of men his mighty acts. Uh, again, to talk about um, the, the great things that God has done, not just um, uh, to uh, come to, to, to church and sing about it or talk about it, but talk to the sons of men. Uh, talk to them about the glorious majesty of his kingdom. Uh, and so David's desire, uh, again, were that uh, the people, uh, it's a very, uh, again, uh, straightforward little section here, uh, that he has this this heartfelt desire, uh, really to what we call today, get outside the four walls uh, of the church, uh, that they would uh, speak again, speak of his glory to the sons of men, not just in a worship service, not just when they were uh, singing a psalm, uh, but that others. So that uh, ultimately says in verse thirteen, he says that his kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Um, he says, when we need to talk about the kingdom of God, we need to talk about the power of God um, so that we, others can come to understand and know uh, that, uh, again, the, the permanent nature uh, of his kingdom, uh, that, that there's, there's not a better plan coming. Uh, there's not some optional uh, plan that God is uh, the authority figure that uh, ultimately for you and I today to do this, if we wanted to speak about the glory of his kingdom and talk of his power uh, to make known to the sons of men his mighty acts, um, think about it. How would we do that today? Well, straightforward. Uh, number one, we would talk about uh, the fact that the Bible says he demonstrated his love to us uh, while we were yet sinners, that he sent his son. Uh, that uh, he sent Jesus Christ to die uh, for our sins. Uh, and so as we go in and out of, we want to honor this 
this desire, this prayer uh, of David. Certainly, we could talk about a lot of things God has done that were great and wonderful, and we really, really appreciated them. But number one, uh, it should be on our uh, on our lips uh, to tell people about the mighty act. Uh, of salvation. To tell him again, as he says here, uh, thy kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and his dominion, uh, that he is in charge and judgment day uh, is coming. Uh, and so we have an obligation, I think, uh, as believers to, to follow uh, David's desire for even the people of Israel, uh, that we speak of the glory of his kingdom. Uh, wherever we go, uh, as we go in and out uh, among our family, friends, wherever, uh, that uh, the glory of the kingdom of God, uh, his mighty acts, the salvation, the death, burial, resurrection of Jesus Christ uh, are uh, always uh, on our lips. All right, hope you'll think about that today. Have a good one, and we'll see you back here tomorrow morning.